Hey guys, it's Dan with Excel VBA is fun. Welcome back. Uh, we've got a question from Jeff here. He is asking, he's got a spin button and he wants to click it up or down, but instead of changing the date or changing a number, he wants it to do time. As example, uh, 12 p.m. He in particular wants it to go up and down 30 minute increments. So let's show him how to do that. Yes, Jeff, uh, it's absolutely possible. So let's just load up Excel here. And we'll uh, we'll just make a simple user form, Alt F11, and we're going to pull this down here and make a user form, of course. And we'll start with a label, and we'll start with a te text box right there, and then of course a spin button, and just like that. We can we can maybe make it a little bit shorter. Okay. Anyway, so we've got our spin button. Uh oh. So if this happens to you, you want to change it from horizontal. You might want to change the orientation right here. Instead of auto, we might double click and go vertical. Or if you might want to force it to be horizontal. But anyway, so that's good enough. You got to spin up and spin down. So we're going to double click. Uh, we could even make the starting time be 12. He said he wanted the starting time to be 12.00 uh, p.m. I think. Anyway, let's double click here. And instead of a change event, we of course want the spin up and the spin down event. So let's load those up and remove the change event. So if the button is spins up or if it spins down, uh, we want it to go up or down half an hour. Well, you got to think, what does Excel think that 12 noon even means? Uh, in in a worksheet sense, you've got 12 p.m. But if you look at it, if you do um, if you if you format this to look like an actual numeral by control tilde it's 0.5 it's act 12 noon is exactly halfway through one day so it's 0.5 days and so that's why if you had a different time if you had a 6 um, 6 a.m. it would show as 0.25 because that's exactly one quarter away through the day from from midnight to 6 a.m. so you gotta think in decimals and that's how Excel thinks. So, I mean, you don't have to think it, but you have to at least convert it. So, let's go ahead and, and take a look at by debugging a little bit here. Let's try to uh, just at least convert that into a date format so you can use C date. So, let's say um, my, uh, my time equals C date of um, whatever's in the, the text box. And in fact, let's give it a nice name, okay? Give it a nice clean name instead of text box one. How about TB time? Not TV time, just you know, text button TB time. Okay, double click on there. So, so we're going to use C date. That's a conversion technique. You can convert dates or times uh, into a nice clean time format instead of a text looking format. So we're going to convert whatever's in the text box me dot TB time. We just gave it that name. So this this will say, hey, this variable will equal the date conversion version of the whatever's in that uh, text box. So let's start there, okay? So if we load up our user form, let's just put a stop marker right there by clicking right there, and let's hit F5 and start it up. I'm going to click the spin up button. There it is. So if we triggered it, let's see what happens when we hit F8 to run this first step. So it turns it into 12.00 p.m. Now, have we not done the date conversion, it would just see how the quotes are around 12.00 p.m. It's It's got quotes, so that's that thinks it's a string of text. But when you do the C date, you see there's no quotes, so it's like it's actually got a numerical or time value. So it knows that means 0.5 technically in its head. 0.5 days is, is noon. So, um... The next step is we want to increment, if we're doing the spin up, we want to increment half an hour. So how do we do that in, in, in uh, half an hour? We could say something like uh, date add, you know, we could say my, um, we could say me.tb time equals, and you could use date add, that's one way you could do it. And the interval as a string, I think we want to add, let's see, is it minutes? Maybe minutes is in, or I think M is for months. So let's see if that works. I can look it up. And then the number, 
Well, that's how many numbers you want to increment it in this many stages. So in minutes, how many do you want to do? Well, 30 right now. And then what's the date? What's the date or time that you want to add to using date add? Well, we want to add whatever's in the variable we just named my time. So let's see if n is correct. I think that's minutes, but it might be seconds. I don't know. So let's just see if that makes it 12.30 p.m. And it sure did. So N is minutes, M is months, D is day, um, S is seconds, and you can add however many seconds. Um, you could even, I think you can put negative 30 here as well. And I guess we ought to test that as well. So let's just copy and paste this stuff here over into the other one. And then let's say negative 30 and see if that works for decrementing it one half of an hour each time you click. So let's hit F5 and let's just admire and see if that works. 1 p.m., 1.30, 2, 2.30. Now let's see what happens when we get up way high and make sure it goes to the next day. Uh-oh, it's mad, it's mad at us. Okay, so that's interesting. Oh, my goodness, that's very interesting. But when we go backwards, yeah, it gets, it gets weird. So let's analyze that, shall we? Let's analyze that last little scenario. Let's go 12... No, let's go um, 11.30 uh, p.m., and that's right before it gets real weird on us. And let's just debug that and see if we can uh, troubleshoot that, okay? Let's put a stop marker right here, just so we cover all our bases, okay? Click this. So uh, the C date of me.tb time is the value of 11.30 p.m., and that step is pretty good, you know, but the date add, adding 30 minutes to that time seems to make it a little bit weird so let's see if we can um, um, let's see that makes it that and it should be we want it to say uh, midnight so let's strategize okay I'm gonna try something let's just see um, If my time equals 11:30 uh, p.m., then okay, they don't like that. Probably need to do a C date of that. If my time equals 11:30 p.m. date value-wise. Then um, we could just cheat. We could just, you know what? You can you can overthink it, or you can make it work. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Then uh, we'll just make it automatically be midnight if that ever becomes uh, 11:30. So we'll compensate for it instead of overthinking everything. So convert midnight to be the time if this is 11.30. Now I'm sure there's something you could do with minus one because the whole day at that point it becomes a whole day and that's why it converted the date uh, as a number value one. Um, but uh, I'm not going to get too much into that because I don't want to waste any more of your time. But just know that there's a million different ways to skin these cats and I'm just trying to help out. So let's see, you know, hey, if my time is 11.30, which it is, then in that rare instance, go ahead and just make this into midnight. Boom. Otherwise, um, let's see here. Yeah, let's do this as an else. So it'll analyze it every time. But otherwise, do the normal thing right here. Yeah, so that way. So it says, hey, uh, it's that. And it, and it says, yep, and satisfied with it, blah, blah, blah. Same deal with this. Let's just go ahead and copy and paste this good stuff. And then I think we're pretty well done, especially since you're uh, just going by half an hour at a time. Okay. And since we're going downward, uh, we've got to go negative 30 seconds for the normal gig. But then, so if it's if it's midnight 30 basically and we're going down a half an hour if it's midnight 30 a.m. 
then, and we know that we're doing a spin down, then we want it to be 12 midnight as well. So let's do that, and whoops, let's start over. Okay, 11.30, uh, we know that that's going to work. It's going to go to, um, well, of course. Let's see, let's see. What's it doing? Pull it one more time, click up. Okay, so my time is 11.30. Oh, it's got the seconds. Fine, whatever. That's fine. Should be the same either way. That's a match. And make it midnight. Yeah. And if this one is 11.30 a.m., then make it midnight. Whatever. Oh. Oh. We need not my time, we need to make me.tp time. The actual text box. I apologize. Not the variable necessarily, but me.tb. The actual text box. That was, so we were right all along, we just weren't updating the text box. So yeah. Hello. If it's midnight, not if it's twelve thirty. If it's midnight going back and okay, yeah. Oh boy. If it's midnight, then make it 11.38 p.m. Helps if I pay attention. Anyway, alright, so that one's done. That goes to midnight. Son of a gun. Is there like a billion different scenarios here? Well, that's annoying. Anyway, so date add was my first thought. There may be a better way to do that. So if you go to 12.30, it needs to go down to midnight. And if it's at midnight, it needs to go to 11.30. All these thresholds of a different day. Fine, 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 fine. So, if this is midnight, then make it 11.30. Else if... Uh, else if this is midnight 30 then uh, make it midnight so now let's see and then finally your original else that should finally cover all your stinking bases there you go so you can hold it down and it should just loop through forever so that's good and that's just a value you know you can you can do a format you can format it to not have these last things or you can format it to say uh, this is actually um, you can format it to do military time so this should say uh, 1430 you can format it any way you want so anyway that's how to do uh, times values and then you know just know that there's another way you can also take the uh, you can also take like the decimal version of this and then multiply it by 24 uh, let's see how do you do that I guess um, whenever I'm messing with dates and times on a worksheet uh, oftentimes you'll maybe multiply it by 24 and then times 60 to get to minutes or seconds uh, 24 hours in a day and then you know, 60 minutes in an hour, and etc. If you want to do it into seconds, you just multiply that by 60 again. Um, that's there's some similar things you can do in VBA. It's just the same date and time math, but I use uh, date add sometimes, and other times I will try to convert them a little bit more manually. Anyway, uh, I appreciate you watching this video. I will make this workbook freely available to you, and um, don't forget to check out my website, excelvbaisfun.com, and get over there and grab your copy of uh, my new book, Essential Excel VBA Snippets, where you can copy and paste them and make magic on your, on your workbook projects. Thanks for watching, and God bless.